Hi guys, all right, today is another one of my special videos on the heels of the skinny video and the overwhelming response. I felt like there's another important topic that was called out thanks to the New York Post, and you might have, you've probably seen this, it's called What the Frock? Mm -hmm. And it's about Kim Kardashian, and I was discussing this with my friend Michelle Gelati from michellegelati.com. We felt so strongly about this, it needs to be addressed. And basically, the soft question I guess that it's asking is, is it okay to dress sexy while being pregnant? And they're basically pointing, accusing her of that is just inappropriate, it's horrible, you can't, you, women should not be dressing sexy while they're pregnant. Um, and you saw the pictures, the photos are pretty revealing. What did you think? I mean, when on it, I think the conversation is well, what, especially a woman, you know, who's pregnant, who's like growing another life, for, for goodness sakes, like, what do you feel comfortable wearing? And if that At makes that you point. feel good, uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> totally. Um, but what do you feel good in, honestly? And just yeah. leave it at that. If this is, and again, everybody has to see the photos, but um, you know, that appeared in the New York Post, but what do you feel comfortable in? What makes you feel great? And you know what, if own it, it happens to, just own it, exactly. Yeah. And why, as, 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 as I know you believe as well, who are we, uh, you know, or why are we, journalists, other women, you know, why are we the ones, you know, who are the ju you know who are the judging the judges like or the, the panelists yeah all of a sudden it's like a judging content I mean yeah it's crazy I agree and I think you know that's her aura that's what, she's always dressed that way mm -hmm. so why why did she have to all of a sudden wear a tent mm -hmm. she would probably be criticized for that too I'm sure yeah. but I think whatever you're wearing I mean she's a pregnant woman that's confident we should be applauding her for you know what yes I've gained weight yes I'm pregnant but I'm confident or I'm I, rather than tearing tearing her down right. and I think that they uh, you, you should really read this article because I mean they really um, attack her for, for simply wearing yes her clothing is tight and revealing but it's not any different than not being pregnant it's not like she's prostituting herself on the street she's dressing how Kim Kardashian dresses she's owning her personality and her image and I think that she's being true to herself Right. In a lot of ways, whether or not you're a fan, she is being true to her herself. She is. And I remember when I was pregnant, um, I have a seven-year-old now, and when I was pregnant, um, I absolutely remember like going through my closet and going, oh, you know, because I was, I was, it was a very good pregnancy, but like looking through the closet and going, what, what am I going to feel great in today? Like make yeah. me feel beautiful and, and whatever. And yeah, sometimes it was tight around my belly and sometimes it was even short, you know, dresses or whatnot. So. People could have been saying stuff about me, but you know what? At the end of the day, it's, you know, in life in general, whether it's a weight question or a, oh, look at, you know, a, a, a clothing question, let's, let's just focus on ourselves. Let's really just look inside versus outside all the time. Like happiness does not lie on the outside. Let's figure it out for ourselves, you know, I, I couldn't, within. I couldn't agree more. And I have to say, I know we all think so differently and that's what makes the world you know so interesting or much more interesting but I when I was pregnant when I was huge I <laughs> always huge I was um, I always wore tight stuff I, I felt sexy in it like you know call me whatever you want but I wanted to feel like a woman I wanted to feel sexy and so we're all totally unique so yeah for me it was tight black I was normally wearing black and like tight tops and you know tight little um, yeah. skirts and whatnot and we're all gonna have our own version, and you're right. Kim Kardashian is at least, right? She's at least being authentic to herself. And so let's just... So I applaud yeah. Kim Kardashian on being authentic to herself. And <laughs> New York Post, I think we need a follow-up article yeah. addressing this. Absolutely. You know, it's funny, and I haven't been pregnant, but you know, I'm married now, and Matt and I have talked about children, not children, and I, you know, we really don't know, but one thing I think about is, wow, I put myself out there every single day in these skimpy outfits, <laughs> what the heck are people gonna say when if I get pregnant and I'm walking around? Am I gonna have to wear a tarp? What if I do decide to wear a sports bra and shorts one day on a video or, or you know, in public? Because that's what I'm comfortable in, mm -hmm. um, and so that's it, it, it's hard. I, it's hard for a lot of women, and especially when you're in the public eye or mm -hmm. when your job has so much to do with you, how you look. Mm -hmm. um, there's no denying that. I just don't think that this trash talking on everyone mm -hmm. is is positive in any way so but we want to hear what you guys think mm -hmm. about this issue about this Kim Kardashian weight gain calling her out on a million different things so post your comments in the comment section below join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter 
Uh, we will be reading and responding to all of this. And also, you have to check out michellegelati.com. Um, not only is she an awesome woman, mm -hmm. um, but she has an extremely successful um, w global business where she actually helps female entrepreneurs of like powerhouse female mm -hmm. entrepreneurs and she speaks all over the world and her writing, her articles, if you can't reach her in person, are incredible. So check her out. So Michelle, thank you so much for being here and chiming in on this issue You're and this so conversation. Welcome. And thank you. Oh, of course, it's been a pleasure. And thank you guys for listening and for your thoughts and your support and the overwhelming response. I think that together, it starts small. We can change the world little by little. Mm -hmm.